Hello, I'm David Lombardo, and this is AIN TV News. Coming up, all the early action from this year's NBAA show and a big order for Embraer. That's coming up right after this message. back to AIN TV. We're at the Dassault Aviation Exhibit. It's official. The NBAA Board of Directors, along with the new Aviation Hall of Fame inductees and the morning's keynote speakers, cut the ribbon, opening the 63rd annual NBAA convention. With almost 1,000 exhibitors and some 90 aircraft at the static display, there's something for everyone. People's uh, attitudes are positive. There are upgrades and new products and People, I think the general public and business, congressional leaders are realizing that business aviation is a force that we cannot afford to lose. There's a lot of positive energy um, that I feel already in, in the room with uh, other manufacturers and, and, and with clients, and I'm looking to, uh, uh, to keep that momentum going forward. Activity seems to have picked up already this year. We have three airplanes out on static display here at our uh, uh, in the convention center, we are focusing on our customer service network, which we announced yesterday, uh, aggressively expanding in Asia. Uh, we added a new authorized service center in Shanghai. We're looking at uh, one in Beijing. It's going to be a great show, great NBA this year. When the economy's down is when the best time is to, to sink the dagger, if you will. You can definitely feel a greater sense of optimism from vendors and visitors this year. Fractional ownership leader NetJets announced an agreement with Embraer to purchase 50 Phenom 300 executive jets. The total ticket price of this deal, which includes options for 75 more of the light jets, could exceed $1 billion. Embraer will develop the new Platinum edition of the Phenom 300 in cooperation with NetJets. This will give NetJets share owners input on the technology and comfort features of the aircraft. Deliveries of the Phenom 300 are scheduled to start in 2013. Garmin is preparing to go head-to-head -head with avionics giants Honeywell and Rockwell Collins. We'll explain coming up in 30 seconds. Only one long-range business jet can fly you non-stop from Los Angeles to the heart of London. London City Airport. Minutes, not hours, from the financial hub of Europe. The incredible Falcon 7X. It's just the edge you need to jump ahead of the competition. Welcome back to AIN TV. Garmin is stepping up its game with the G5000 integrated avionics system, which will get them into the cockpits of larger Part 25 aircraft. It's moving up into territory previously dominated by Honeywell and Rockwell Collins. The new suite should be more flexible and easier to configure to operator needs. A lot of our features are introduced by software in the future if we have changes, uh, you know, either regulatory or feature changes that are needed instead of typically change hardware out and need new equipment. In our case, we like to pride ourselves on being able to do a lot of new things via software alone. Garmin will launch the G5000 with Cessna. Cessna is breathing new life into a 1996 classic design, the Citation 10. The new version will have a longer range and be slightly faster than the original .92 Mach Speedster. It is scheduled to enter service in 2013. The Citation 10 will feature winglets, uprated Rolls-Royce engines, a new interior, a cabin management system with a control similar to an iPhone, and the new Garmin G5000 cockpit. These changes will provide many performance improvements, including a payload increase, higher initial maximum cruise altitudes, faster speeds, and the 10 will burn about 145 pounds less fuel and arrive two minutes sooner than the current model on a typical 2,500 nautical mile trip. But even faster than the Citation 10 is Ariane's supersonic business jet, AI and TV's Charlie Alcock has the latest news on this exciting program. 
Yes, thanks, David. I have indeed been spending time with Aerion this morning, learning about their exciting supersonic business jet program. And I've been lucky enough to have an interview with Richard Tracy, the Chief Technology Officer. So if you want to catch that interview in full, please go to AINTV.com and click on the Aerion segment. You'll see all the details of that program. General Electric is here in Atlanta, celebrating its selection to provide engines for Bombardier's new Global 7000 and 8000 business jets. The company told us why they've been brought into the power of these long-range jets. Well, clearly it's because we have the better machine, but that's because of the billion dollars of technology investment that GE has invested to develop technologies for commercial and military aircraft over the years. And we've been able to take the, that technology, build upon it, scale it down for an engine in this thrust class of machine. The new global programs will be the first applications for GE's new TechX technology. Be sure to grab a copy of the latest NBAA convention news magazine on display and being handed out throughout the halls. Also, stick with us at AINTV.com for continuous updates. For AINTV, I'm David Lombardo.